do you know what you're going to do? Do you do the guys know now today what you're going to do? Or is that still to be determined this decision? Has it been made already? Yeah, we, it- we, <laughs> we know what we're doing. You know, OK, yeah. so you've made a decision. You're just not saying what it is. That's right. Kind of thing. Okay. Is there right. a competitive advantage to that? Absolutely, there is. I learned that from Coach Sirianni, truthfully. You know, when we were a new staff, there's always a little bit of cat and mouse week one, week two. How much of it is just making them and Rivera have to prepare for two quarterbacks? Yeah, huge. Because from a defensive perspective, it's hard to prepare for one quarterback, let alone two. Jonathan Gannon, new coach of the Cardinals, gets his... First regular season game against the Commanders on Sunday. And look, I that is the most overhyped bull crap thing. I I, I don't know. When even... the choices are Josh Dobbs. Whoa, whoa, wait, is it gonna be the quarterback Clayton who sits Toon. in the pocket or the quarterback who sits in the pocket? I don't know. They're gonna have to rewrite the game plan for the quarterback who sits in the pocket. And then they gotta do another game plan for the quarterback who sits in the pocket. I don't know if I don't know if anybody be ready for this. This will be crazy stuff. <laughs> Here's the other side of it too. Here's the other side of it too. And this just shows the level of naivete that Jonathan Gannon has. And it's going to make him look bad. Cuz what happens today, Wednesday? They'll practice today. Somebody's getting the first team reps today. And there's going to be enough people in the vicinity that somebody's going to tell somebody about it and somebody's going to tell somebody about it and it isn't many steps before a reporter finds out about it and says Josh Dobbs took all the first string reps at practice on Wednesday, he's the starter. And that makes the coach look like a moron because the coach can't keep that secret. Now, Sean Payton has proven that he can keep that secret. Remember when Drew Brees was hurt a couple of years ago and we didn't know who it was going to be? Is it going to be Jameis? Is it going to be Taysom? Well, there was real tactical advantages there. Right. And Payton kept it quiet. Right until he wanted it to be known. Gannon doesn't have that kind of authority. Gannon doesn't have that kind of sway. Gannon is not yet in a position where he can just tell guys, keep your mouth shut, and they will. And and what, as you said, what difference does it make? What difference does it make between Josh Josh Dobbs and Clayton Toon? It makes no difference. There is no competitive advantage here. It's only an advantage if you have some dramatically different style or huge gap in talent or whatever it might be for one or the other. And that's not the case here. No, it's, it's just not, not the case. No, no, it's not. Um, and, you know, I'll be, I'll be excited to see who they throw out there. Clayton Toon did a good job as a rookie in preseason. He did, but we know this is regular season football. That's different. Joshua Dobbs doesn't have a ton of experience in the regular season, but, of course, has been around the league and does have that. So that's the advantage he has. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.